Good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome back on this lovely Tuesday. I love Tuesdays. It's hump day. Good to see you all. Good morning, Michael, Norman. Good to see you, Deborah, Phil, Chuck, everybody here on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Welcome aboard. Hopefully, you guys are ready and uh, filled up with your coffee. My wife yelled at me this morning to get my Christmas lights up. I just want to share that with you. I know she's listening right now. So, honey, I promise I will get to it. All right. So, uh, good to see you, Lewis. We're having a great morning so far with this stock, Cruise, C R I S. Nice little push, nice little trend right now. Um, I called it out a little bit earlier. I told you guys that when you looked at the stock, um, I saw an iceberg order just get filled right here around uh, 450 right there. And you could see it. Let me just change it so you guys can see on YouTube a little bit better. Uh, right around there, there was a big iceberg order right here that got filled. And then the stock obviously just popped for a nice 30 cents. It was kind of hovering here for a little while. Uh, we found it was one of the morning stock uh, they were watching on the morning watch list. But it looks like she's obviously picking up some nice little momentum right now. So, um, but there's a few other stocks. I Like I said, airlines doing great. Metals are doing great. Oh my God, what happened with space? The final frontier? Spice, uh, space, I mean, I've been a big fan of space. This stock right here for a long time. If you don't know what this company does, honestly, it's irrelevant, okay? Because we can't afford to go on it, but it's a quarter million dollar flight to go out of space from Virgin America. Um, stock took a big hit when when the whole Corona uh, stock hit. And you know and now it's starting to make a little bit of a comeback. But um, listen, I remember I watched the CEO on TV and he says, hey, we sold out of 5,000. We're on 8,000 seats already. Could you imagine 8,000? Thousand people paying a quarter of a million dollars to go out of space on that. I wonder if it comes with free drinks. I wonder how that works out of space. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, anyway, a couple of stocks are working pretty nice. We're going to come back and check with them, but let's go and go hop on and see what happened yesterday because yesterday was a very, very interesting day. I actually had a little bit of a slow start. Like I told you, I don't like Mondays and Fridays. Um, I'm like a 50 50 guy, you know, trader. So I really focus on these three days that come up. So um, I want to point out a couple of stocks, but I am doing really well on our swing trade. I want to start off with Riot, okay? So Riot uh, blockchain, you know, listen, I was, I'll be the first one to admit, and I've been talking about this for a long time. I am not sold on Bitcoin, okay? Um, up until the past six months, you know, maybe a year. Listen, I only follow Wall Street, and I know why Wall Street doesn't like Bitcoin, because you know, listen, that's how they make their money in the crypto cur in the currency market. Um, listen, how many of you here from Canada, you know, and you want to buy, you know, take a class here at CTU. But then when you look at the at the at the currency rate, they're like, you know what? Um, I'm paying 30 percent more. How about paying even? How many would not like that? How, now people are starting to look at, you know, when, they when people with the car industry, you know, they're getting killed. That's why they build cars in this country and not in another country because the currency kills them. Well, anyway, blockchain is obviously uh, part of that, making that transaction. And uh, Riot's been doing great, so I've been a big fan. I owned the stock at three. I sold it at three and a quarter like a moron, okay, because I was holding on forever. I ended up buying it back at like eight, okay? And uh, But I'm doing pretty well. But anyway, Riot obviously has a good a good a momentum. Stock has been up, uh, was up big a long time ago. I think it was in the $50 range. But that one's doing pretty well. So we're going to keep an eye. And also... The reason why I'm bringing it up too is because uh, I mean I'm hearing it on on the financial stations now. You're starting to hear all these hedge fund guys starting to get into Bitcoin and stuff like that. So I uh, I would be really obviously if you're not a Bitcoin person, um, there's there's other like I told you there are other things in the market. Not it's not just that one stock like we see what's happening with Tesla. You saw what happened with Neo. I mean uh, copycat China doing you know same thing that t Tesla does. There are other stocks out there that will piggyback and will benefit from it. If it's the solar stocks, I mean, you know, you, you know, uh, elected President Biden, you know, he's all about the Green New, you know, the whole Green New Deal. Um, well, I don't know how it, Borden is in the Green New Deal, but he's in a, he's a lot has to do with, uh, you know, with the, you know, with the environment, all that stuff. And, you know, solar panels are going to be big. You know, wind is going to be big. Those stocks are doing great. So all those things you got to keep an eye on um, that's moving. Everything that has to do with, uh, you know, uh, climate change. Anyway, getting back to certain stocks that did move well, uh, also.
I, I got to say this again. I got to congratulate this kid. The richest billionaire ever, a 25-year-old, LAZR. I don't even know. He was probably worth a billion about three days ago. He's got to be worth probably maybe four billion, maybe more. Um, this stock just will not stop. Uh, I know they did something on on uh, on the financial station talking about what this company does. 25-year-old kid graduated from Stanford, um, came out with this new technology with uh, putting on cars and stuff. I mean, he's killing it. But listen, as a trader, we know this very well. The stock is going up way too fast, and, you, and it's going to crash. Eventually, it's going to crash. It's got to be a huge short squeeze. But the stock's been great. It's been doing phenomenal, and that's all that matters. PLTR, another one that's been doing, uh, made a big, nice comeback yesterday. Stock just went public. Another stock that's doing pretty well. It's up again this morning. I'm throwing it on my B list. PLTR, going to keep an eye on that one too, but it's having a pretty, really good, strong pre-market trading. So, um, and then airlines. I mean, I don't know what happened with American Airlines. American Airlines had a really nice run yesterday, and then all of a sudden just kind of crapped out. Great, great run. Let me, get, let me just make a bring up a chart here. Right here, you can see that thing just ran from 16 to 18. Just did not stop. I told you, I'm a big fan on airlines. And and I and, and I know everybody here could raise their hand. Who here is due a, a vacation, all right? Who's not going to go out there and go out and, and start uh, booking their trip once this whole coronavirus is pretty much a done deal? So these are things that we want to look at. Airlines are eventually going to come back. I'm looking at it, you know, next year. If you could double your money next year, it's a lot better than, you know, making 1% in a bank and, and and waiting a year. And they get to do whatever they want with their money. So uh, that's why I'm not a fan of it. So that's that, guys. Let's go. Let's go hop over here on the watch list. Now, we had a pre-market watch list. We had the CRUS, okay? And that was on the pre-market watch list. That one did okay. We also had Nero, N-U-R-O. That was on the pre-market watch list. That was up at 78, uh, almost 80% kind of like flat down you know so i'm not really crazy about them but there's always new ones that pop up on the watch list uh see it let's start with the a list here's a good nice little stock a little bit uh, category two it's not an easy one to trade but the clps stocks moving really really nice just had a nice pop around 8 30 ran from 340 to 420 some of you remember remember we, we day trade this stock back in um october it ran from three fifty to six dollars, so we know the stock can move. She's doing pretty damn well right now. I'm seeing a nice bunch of orders on the offer, uh, uh, on the level three getting executed. That looks really good. Stock's doing pretty well. Another one on the A list is PLG. I'm going to throw on there. Now this stock had a great move yesterday, the day before that, and it's doing it again today. It's up twenty one percent, four hundred thousand shares. Not there's one iceberg order I could see right there at five dollars. We know that's a whole number, so he's out there. But there's not that many huge ice orders. I see 112, 50 shares, and then boom, then I get I get into the thousands. So be very careful. The stock is not your typical category one. Remember, when you take a class Cyber Train University, the most important thing we teach you is not worrying about making money. It's about controlling losses. That's what we teach you. So when you buy a stock, you always got to look at it. If I'm wrong, how am I going to get out? Is there buyers out there? Is What's the spread look like? You know, what does the volatility look like? That is the most expensive part of the trade. So just be very careful. Don't let expensive stocks fool you and also inexpensive stocks fool you. It's always the first T, tradable. Hop over here on the B list. So we, are, we know about the NYRO. Uh, is going on our list, uh, PLTR, which I just talked about. That one's going on our, our, our uh, B list. Another one on the B list is LXRX. You know, that one, nice little trend, decent push, but she's not going anywhere. She's kind of flat. So we always see these things out of nowhere pop up. Space is going back on my watch list. Okay, so that's on my B list. SINO, another one going on my B list. Had a really great pop around 8.30 and then just crapped out. So now we know a little bit about the personality of the stock. Be very, very careful. But this thing could make a nice little move. It looked, it did already this morning. It's starting to build a nice little base right here. Maybe this is the bottom. Metals. Metals have done incredible. I want to start off just talking about U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel has been an animal. I don't know where this stock came from, but all of a sudden this stock went from 12 to 17. And it's been pushing every day. And you know what? 
Remember, you want to be a good swing trader. You damn well to learn how to day trade first because if you remember, we trade this back, you know, just, just at the end of November when the stock ran from 12 to 14. Like, what the, what the hell is going on with this stock? And then the next day, it gapped up again. It started going up. That was a telltale window that this now is not only a day trade, it's been a swing trade. So if you guys jumped in when we were trading it and you got in around 14, 1450, you're doing pretty damn well right now on that swing trade, okay? And you will never know that it was a swing trade unless you day traded it, unless you learned what we teach you here at CyberTrade University. Another stock, another one, uh, airlines. Airlines, 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 okay? Airlines doing also doing great. Look at Delta, 30 to 42. Save, okay? Another one, 19 to 25. Uh, JBLU, Jeff, Jeff Blue, moving pretty decently. American Airlines is probably the best one that moved pretty the nicest so far. They're all moving, but they're not really doing too, nothing crazy right now, but these are our swing trades. Now, a new, new thing came out of nowhere. I'm just starting to see it pop up on our window. Started, yes, uh, two days ago. And once again, getting back to U.S. Steel. Metals are moving. I don't know what's going on with metals, guys. But metals are moving in today's markets, okay? Um, Posh, we we'll start with that one. Posh started making a little bit of a move right here. PLG, platinum. This stock had an unbelievable move yesterday. Stock ran from $250 to $3. It almost hit five. I don't know what's going on, platinum, but everybody's looking at this stock. SLV. Uh, silver, I own a lot of silver, you know, the coins and stuff, But uh, and I own some gold, but they're also making some little bit of moves right here. So I would keep an eye on the metals. I don't hear too many talking about it on financial stations. I don't hear people talking about it, you know, over the internet. I haven't got too many, you know, uh, Twitter or Palmers or whatever, or YouTubes. But how do I know this stuff? It's not I have a crystal ball, okay? It's not that I have... You know, this you know, access to the street, know what the street's doing. I just follow the money. And that's what I'm noticing. They're popping up on my radar. And it's not just one company, it's several of them, those stocks. And if that happens, it's just a matter of time. They're going to start talking about it. And remember, that's what makes you a great trader. Okay. Now, uh, Gene made about 25 cents in the CRIS. There you go. Good job. Um, yeah, you could see it right here, guys. Look at all everyone here that just made money on it. Uh, there you go. G made money. So if you guys want to come and join us, if you're watching Facebook, YouTube live, just click on the bottom, like us, friend us, um, come and join us, do that $9 trial. You'll enjoy us. All right, guys, uh, markets opening up in about 15 minutes. One last thing before we go, do not forget. Okay. Do not forget Thursday cyber expo. You want to learn about futures. You want to learn about options. I got the best guy that's coming on. Very good friend of mine. What happened right here? I got, um, we got Hubert Sanders that's going to be coming on. Uh, Melissa Arma from Stockswoosh. Very famous, very well known in the industry. Very well spoken and very great trader. She's going on. That's also is going to be coming in, is going to be speaking also. She's going to be coming on. So we got a lot, a lot of great speakers. If you have not registered yet, please do it. And then also today is Tuesday at 11 o'clock. You got Traders Talk with Josh. So don't, that's our biggest week event that we, uh, biggest popular event that we do here at Cyber University. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Happy trading. Be safe. We'll see you back here at 11 at 2.30. And one last thing. If you have Bookmap, I will be on Bookmap at 10 o'clock. I'm going to be doing a live demonstration on it. But that only applies to people that have Bookmap, uh, Bookmap accounts. So I will be, once I'm done trading this morning, I'll be jumping on with them. I'm going to be doing a demonstration on that. So if you do have Bookmap, um, and if you miss it, don't worry about it. It will be recorded. But of all subscribers, I'll be there doing an event. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And we'll see you back here at 2.30 on YouTube, Facebook Live. Cyber Group members, we'll see you back. You know, uh, we'll start commentating in five minutes. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.